We're gonna build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims, um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white, so no Italians, no Polish, just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. You know, it actually looks like the Native Americans have done all right for themselves. They do seem to have a lot of shops. And it looks like they have medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. And their popular music is interesting. And here it is, the number one song for the 10,000th week in a row. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, 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 hiya. Wait, but she's sneaking out of the U.S. This is Arizona. You can shoot a Mexican for using a water fountain. I'm going to play this really loud tonight to get back at our Armenian neighbors. Hey, hey, looks like a fun party. Um, hey, listen, it's two in the morning. Uh, when is your five-year-old going to go to sleep? Soon, very soon. You want weird food wrapped in weird leaves? Yeah, look, I'm guessing there's some kind of soccer match from your home country going on, and I get that. I do. But uh, some of us are trying to sleep, and I could almost deal with the noise, but it's the cologne. All right, I can smell it in my bed, and I live two houses from here. That's how powerful it is. Okay? That's how powerful it is. You like it? Yeah, I kind of like it. I love blacks. I love Asians. Hell, I even love gay aborigines. It will lead me like the shorebird that led the first pilgrims to Boston. Ahoy! Are you looking to build a city where sports fans can be notoriously racist? Yeah, and can we also ruin Sweet Caroline for everyone else? Absolutely! Can our airport security people be responsible for 9-11? And can our own 9-11 be like one one-thousandth as bad, but we'll still make a frickin' movie about it? I think I know just the place! Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be a problem, but we forgot to bring the letter R. No problem at all! Right this way, large-faced whites! Let's go, Red Sox! Let's go, Red Sox! Peter, that'll never work. Hey, it's worth a try. Come on, Joe, don't be so negative. You're like a Boston fortune cookie. I don't know, numbnuts. Maybe buy a garage and fill it with hockey equipment. Huh. Well, let's see what my lucky numbers are. Screw you, math dick. Well, that wasn't very helpful at all. Now, Chris, this is Brazil before the invention of the soccer ball. Yeah, we're trying to get to the North Pole. I don't suppose you're from AAA, are you? Who? AAA, you know? AAA. Oh, AAA. -A -A. Hey, I just came from AA. No, not AAA, AAA. -A -A. Yeah, that's what I said. AAA. -A -A. Oh, so you are with AAA. Oh, no, that's AAA. -A -A. I just came from AAA. -A -A. Huh? Stewie, I think he's just a drunk. Well, drunk or not, can you help us? I can if you want to join AAA. -A -A. No, I'm already a member of AAA. -A -A. I need help with the car. Oh, I see. Yeah, looks like you got some water leakage. You might need a hose, eh? Jose, Roberto, whatever. If you got some Latinos up here that can fix cars, that'd be great. No, I mean, it looks like you need a part, eh? Well, yeah, when it's fixed, we can celebrate, but let's deal with first things first. Well, I can probably take you to a gas station, eh? You have cash, eh? Well, I don't know. My name carries a little weight, but I, I don't see how that matters here. Look, we, we don't have enough cash to fix the car, and we're kind of on our way to the North Pole. Oh, a car won't take you there anyway. But if you like, you can take my snowmobile. Really? You just give it to us? Oh, sure, that's what Canadian hospitality is all about. If you like, you can have all my money and my leg. Okay. We now return to Captain Central America. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah, it's weird. You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. You stop making
make bing bong. Every bing bong, two cent. What you want? More wine, more women, more table. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am. Come here, hurry, run. But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Queen! Queen, give me some of your air! Come on, Queen, don't be a bitch! Get us away from that lunatic! She's heading into that tunnel! Ah, dear God, the Queen's dead! All right, Collingsworth, I got a hair. We now return to Ethiopian hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. That was cool, I got to go to Fiji for that. They got a ton of turtles there. You can kill them, nobody cares. All right, Friedrich, now that World War II is over, we can get back to making comedies again. Get me these comedy writers. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are available. What? This is terrible. Get me my agent. He's, uh, he's probably not gonna answer either. Well, this is crazy! What happened? Oh, I remember what happened. Well, if they want to make me into a monster like those people, we'll give them a monster. Like when Godzilla attacked Haiti. Oh my god. It can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts, stupid tiny guitars, overpriced golf, sentimental military stuff, lava, people who I can't tell are black or Asian, apostrophes, anyone twirling flames, second weddings, and linen pants. Is there anything you're not allergic to? Yeah, the Epcot Center, where I wanted to go. Ah, <sighs> India, the most spiritual country in the world. God is not here. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons! <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now let's, let's get out of here. Let's wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Death to America. And butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. Iraq lobster. Iraq lobster? Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe it was something like this. Gentlemen, today we Ireland's top scientists have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, oh, the glorious glorious day. Day. Oh, hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm, whiskey. <laughs> oh, he doesn't smell like Irish Spring and he never taught me anything. But still I swell up my chest and sing of my drunken Irish dad. Oh, his face looks like a railroad map and he never shuts his freaking trap. But all the ladies catch the clap from your drunken Irish dad. Ask a Hennessy, Tennessee, Morris and Shaughnessy, Reardon and Rooney, they'll tell you the same. McNulty, Mulroney and Cotter and Clooney all feel the same mixture of pride and of shame. Finnegan, Hannigan, Kelly and Flanagan look to the ground when their dad passes by. Cafferty, Rafferty, Joyce and O'Lafferty fight for his honor and then start to Cry. And the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Look at these uh, big ones. Ah! Uh, ra -ta 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 -ta, ra -ta 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 -ta, ra -ta 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 -ta. Is this calculus? I don't know. Ra -ta 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 -ta. Uh, can we get some salami and. Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Ah, uh, scusi. Babbit a boopy? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Babbit a boopy? 
Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Tu sei un pazzo, va bene da qui. Sono stanco di te, ti un pugno nella testa. Ti giro con questa carne. All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No, you will do it in the traditional Japanese way. On a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes. Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that. Time for a good door or bad door? Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa-san, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad, but shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, you lose chess! No, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at Griffin's shoes. Why? What's wrong with them? I don't even know what those are. What's Teslic? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslic. That's all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. This party's worse than a Mexican funeral. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier, y Pepe, y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe, Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. Spend more time working with my foundation. It gives impoverished nations things they don't want or need. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed my trip to Nebraska. So, um, anybody see any good movies lately? Nah, no, not really, yeah. no. Oh. Uh, read any good books? No. Mm -mm. no. Nope. Uh. Anything new with corn? Oh, yeah, corn. Corn, corn, corn. Oh, yeah, yeah, corn. Oh, corn. Corn. corn, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Corn, corn is always interesting. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about Nepal? Ooh, I like that. Ha, huh, shocker. God gets it right. This is a hell of a lot easier than when I delivered pizza in New Orleans. What the hell? Minutes. It's a company promise. Half the band is in the band. We're all just blocking the street. Oh, thank God. One of us got the contact lens. We're going back to block the street. Ah, screw it. We won't stop blocking the street. Never stop blocking the street. The summer tourists are gone, and we finally have the town to ourselves before those idiots from New York show up to watch the leaves change and take over the whole place. <gasps> Maddie, check out those colors. Yellow like a taxi, orange like the ball at the Knicks game, and red like the sauce on my Mamma Mia's gugots. Yeah, and brown like the guys I don't pick up in my cab. Beautiful. Good evening. Tonight's top story, Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. There's a great man locked up in a cell. The African folks all know him well. He's a great spirit with a lot to say. That's why they lock Peter Griffin away. There's a breeze that's in the air. Peter Griffin in my hair. Peter Griffin up my nose. In my lungs and down to my toes. Peter Griffin in my skin. Everybody breathe him in. Peter Griffin. Freedom for Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Let my Peter go.
Oh, I know war, my friend. I stormed the beaches at Normandy. Ah! Of course, it was 1958, so the resistance wasn't quite as stiff. No running! I said no running! I'm not running! I mean, I had that job creating ads for the North Dakota Board of Tourism. Hi! Do you like South Dakota but don't want to see Mount Rushmore? Come to North Dakota. It's just a very long drive from wherever you live. Best of all, most of the good license plates aren't taken yet. Imagine coming here and having cool dude, or yay Jews, or boo Jews, depending on where you stand on Jews. North Dakota, we're not even the best Dakota. Where the hell am I? Oh my God, I'm in the wrong Korea. That's it, like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. <laughs> But that's not how it really happened. That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. Ow! A northern bird flew into my nuts! And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! I now pronounce you man and wife. Mazel tov. Now step on the glass. Oh, but be careful, though. At my wedding, I cut myself on the glass. And when I got to Palm Beach for the honeymoon, I had to put a Wonder Bread bag on my foot to keep the sand out. Oh, people don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Here is Russian cutaway gag. Какой дурак придумал бутерброд с трикотажем для Миксарски? Они хулиган! Они бездельник! I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! Oh, Kermit, what are you doing? You can't get to Hollywood in that old Studebaker. And besides, you're a poopit. They're not going to listen to a poopit in Hollywood. Oh, don't stop and pick up those other poopits. There's no room for them in the car. Oh, you're not using your brain. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We should probably head out to find the last episode of that Korean soap opera. Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. I'm a very passionate man. Haven't you ever seen my Spanish soap operas? Mi amor. Bueno. I know what always makes me feel better. Delicious sweets. Holly, welcome to Fjord's Bakery. Would you like a hot piece of pee? It's on the hoose. What? Oh, no. You're covered in my hot pee. You can wash yourself off in the waiter closet. A uh, bottle of Jack Daniels, please. Here you go. Thanks. What's this? That's your gun. Buy some liquor, get a free gun. Is, is that like a special you have on now or something? Nope. Texas state law. You have a nice day now. State law? God, this place officially sucks worse than the WNBA. Hey, hi! What? Why do they call them TIE Fighters? No idea! It has come to my attention that there is a Chinese among us. Rest assured, he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale investigation into the genealogy records of every single one of our employees. This man will be found, and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? Aloha! <laughs> 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 Hey, check out that Vietnamese guy giving the business to those Vietnam vets. Scoreboard! Scoreboard! Oh, what happened to your friend? Hey, I know that guy. I kill him. He cry like a bitch. Vietnam undefeated! We'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. Dribble, 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 talking shirt. Give to my friend. Spin on finger, two rotations, dream about window. Put away 
red basketball go to work in calcium mine. Here it is, Washington, D.C., the seat of government for the world's former most powerful nation. Wow, those are all the monuments I read about in school. There's the Washington Monument. There's the Obama Monument. Eh, yeah, throw that away. I don't want to go. Besides, Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. There are plenty of things that are much worse for children than television. Like when Peter babysat for the neighbor's kid. All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Well, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's to Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Oh, hey, did they ever unfreeze Walt Disney? Uh, unfortunately. Welcome back, Mr. Disney. Are the Jews gone yet? Uh, no. Put me back in. Don't worry, Lois, I'm good at finding people. I was the one who found Bush after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Mr. President, are you up there? Go away! Sir, there's a disaster in New Orleans. I'm reading Super Fudge. You gotta come down and deal with this. Don't make me do stuff. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island. Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right, heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Cockapoopoopipishire. You're watching BBC Four. Previously on condensation. Ellen, there's moisture on the outside of my glass. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It too is called condensation. Condensation. Yes! Ah, oh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. <laughs> You know, you really shouldn't lie on that bedspread. I saw this report on TV about how filthy hotel rooms are. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. And yeah, no arguments, Brian. I already went through the trouble of borrowing this ramp from Joe. I'll see you, honey. I'll be back in a while. Joe, are you all right? Don't help me up. I need to retain my independence. You need anything from the market? Power bar! Oh, wow, I feel like an explorer. Just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys, the fountain of youth. Just like I told you. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. And now back to the facts of life. Hey, Mrs. Garrett, can I ask you something? What is it, Joe? Is it a problem if your penis and your vagina touch each other? What? Well, I tried to keep them separated, but uh, I woke up this morning and they were sort of together. I, I just didn't know. Is that okay? You have both? Well, yeah. Doesn't everybody? No! Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm. The only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry. I can't see what you're going for here. Well, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? Ooh, Rupert, bad idea trusting the Celtics. Worse than when I trusted Brian to pack my parachute. <laughs> I'm not worried about high school at all. Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? No, oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does anyone have any scope? For God's sakes, you're embarrassing me. Not as embarrassed as I was when I got that job entertaining prison inmates. Do it again, Griffin. Oh, come on. I just did it like five times. Do it! My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. And now back to Blind Justice. Blind Justice. He lost his sight, but not his vision. I need you to go down to 54th and Main. Talk to the suspect's wife. While you're there, see if you can get a sample of his hair to match his DNA. All right, I'm on it.
You know, Chris, a little hard work can do wonders. Just look at how they built the pyramids. They say all peoples must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. From here on out, it's gonna be nothing but smooth sailing. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. Hey. Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the fuck overboard. Yeah, and don't try any of your salesman funny business. Like that guy who convinced me to buy that pet Tyrannosaurus. Okay, Patches, now fetch. Ah! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Ew, it's got spit all over it. Well, don't take it too hard. You're not the first person to get fired. Look, uh, Louis, the French people really want to thank you for your services as king, but uh, it's just not working out, and we've decided to go another way. So, yeah. Well, kids, just when I thought we'd never find an assistant coach, I ran into this drifter hanging out near the elementary school playground. He's got a clown costume in his trunk, so we know he's good with kids, and pictures of boys in their underwear, so uh, he's probably had some medical training. Well, I'm gonna take off while he fits you for cups in that windowless supply shed. See ya. Boy, Stewie's more wound up than Dad was that time he took steroids. Peter, could you please pass the potatoes? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! <laughs> Stress-release candles for those extra tough days at the office. Oh, you don't know the half of it. On Tuesdays, I work returns. Yeah, I bought this boombox here, and it's got this high-pitched whine. Well, let's have a look. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's yours now, sucker! Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. There you go. There you go. Eat up, Stephen. You're the weakest. I haven't been this excited since I learned how to speak Braille. Hey, bump, bump, no bump. Bump, three vertical bumps, four bumps in a square. <laughs> yeah, I've heard they all look alike. Oh, God, I feel more delirious than my cousin, Stewie Cruz. I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm not gay! Go see my new movie! I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm not gay! Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than that summer I spent in India. Whatever you do, short round, don't touch anything. Okay, Dr. Jones, I no touch anything. <laughs> Lady only here cause she humping director. As mayor of Quahog, I hereby sign into law the legalization of marijuana. Good evening, everyone. Our top story, marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a blacky weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. See, Lois, tell me things in Quahog aren't better now. It's just weird, Brian. I still don't think I'm comfortable with the whole idea. Look, Lois, ever since marijuana was legalized, crime has gone down, productivity is up, and ratings for Doctor Who are through the roof. Yeah, but Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... Uh, better... I don't know. Hello, Griffin. Mr. Pewterschmidt? Hey, how you been? Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, a limo, huh? Hey, are these diet rights just to take? No! Those are my diet rights! Now listen, Griffin. Thanks to your dog's stupid marijuana crusade, people are using hemp for everything. Fabric, fuel, and paper. Which means I'm losing billions in timber dollars. I had to sell my bangles records. I was still working on memorizing all the words. My back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the tile and all? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, a o a o o a o a o I'm losing money, and it's your dog's fault. Now, I have to get hemp illegalized again, and the only way to do that is to start a fear campaign designed to turn people against pot. Will you help me? 
Gosh, Mr. Pewdishman, I, I could never go against Brian like that. I'll give you this light-up butterfly yo-yo. <gasps> to keep? Not to keep. You can use it today and one more day in the summer. Yeah! Pull over. All right, Connor, I finished cutting together our anti-pot video. Take a look. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's kill six million Jews. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, I'm on board. How did you come up with that? I got the idea from, from, well, from while I was smoking pot. Anybody else who likes pot, reach for my joint. Oh, there it is. Give us some of that. Ha, ha, ha. Perhaps later. Now let's go to France and steal all their objects da art. Yay, all right, let's go to France. Not bad, eh? Oh, damn it. That was Fox News. Apparently they own the rights to Hitler's likeness and they won't have him slandered. Hi, I'm Peter. You know me from the movie Harold, Kumar, and Peter go to White Castle. As you can see, I'm enjoying a White Castle burger. Why? Because I don't do drugs. Took me five minutes to get to White Castle. I didn't get diverted by all those crazy hijinks. Because I don't get high. It was a good movie, though. You know, Neil Patrick Harris got the job on How I Met Your Mother because of that movie? You know, I've only seen that show once, but i got to tell you, what's really weird to me is why is the voice of the guy from the future Bob Saget? I mean, the guy on the show, he's already an adult, you know, so it's not like he's going to grow into Bob Saget. doesn't make sense. Thank you for your time. Well, what do you think? Look, Daddy, I agree with what you're trying to do, but I just don't think this is going to work. It's so artificial. You're asking for a spanking, young lady. Yeah. All right. Peter, the reason Brian succeeded in his cause is that he spoke with such passion. No offense, but you two just don't have that talent. Are you kidding? I can be very persuasive. That's how I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. Well, we Koreans do not age. We pay Cambodians to do that for us. I seven year old. I work for Suji. I am so proud. This must be how Benjamin Franklin felt when he discovered electricity. No one will ever know I'm doing this weird thing. Oh, I just got the idea for bifocals. And now, a public service announcement from husbands to wives. Hello, wives. Did you know that filling up the ice trays takes only two seconds? Here are other things that only take two seconds. Turning off the light, putting the tops on stuff, hanging up a towel. Also, how about some sex? I'm tired of masturbating in the bathroom after you go to bed. We now return to Extreme Home Makeover, Troubled Latchkey Kid Edition. Oh, hi. I just finished my two liter of Mountain Dew. Let's head outside. When my dad ran out on us, he left all his power tools. So now I like to drill potato butt. It's not that great, but it's something to Here's an old microwave I bashed into a tree. Under the house is a good place to throw the stuff I break and kill. Okay, let's take a break and get the deaf girl to show us her hairs. I'm saying it because all you're gonna find with that thing is junk. Oh, yeah? Is this junk, Lois? Because it just found this? That can't be good for my brain. No, Peter. Stewie is not junk. Tunzi das nicht! Besides, the fat man knows what he's doing. No, he doesn't. He never knows what he's doing. Don't you remember when he gave that deposition? Look, I don't think I'm any different from anybody else. Sometimes you got time to kill in a hotel room. Sometimes there's a mirror on the wall. Sometimes you look at your own stink hole in the mirror. Push your own stuff up there. It's fine. It's just you. Trying all kinds of looks. Pull one cheek to the side, maybe both. Set up a camera, watch it later from a different angle. Put a stethoscope on, pretend you're a doctor. Why should that matter to anyone but me? Sir, the question was, is this your signature? Okay, guys, I buried some beers in the backyard for just such an emergency. So here we go. All right, drink up, gentlemen. Peter, those aren't beers. That's the skeleton of a dog. Rufus? 
But Lois said he went upstate to live on a farm. Wait, if Rufus is here, then where are my beers? Honey, times are hard. I gotta take these beers to market. But Ned, we promised. I told you not to name them. The Family Channel presents Scraps the Love Puppy with director's commentary. We actually used four puppies for this role. The first one died of exposure. The second one apparently had cancer before we even got it, so we didn't even finish a day of shooting with it. And the third one bit a grip, who then proceeded to beat it into a paste with a gobo arm. You can still see the crimson outline in the background of the shot. We tried to wash her down, but there's only so many days in his shoot. Fourth dog nailed it. We all cried when we brought him back to the pound. This is PBS. Funding for this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Hi, I'm you. I love TV. I make this possible. It's day three of Quahog's new ban on alcohol for anybody under 50. And if there's one thing the new drinking age law has done, it's let us know that women tell terrible stories. We now go live to Trisha Takanawa with more. Trisha? Tom, I'm standing here at an awful brunch with no mimosas. Let's listen in. Did anyone see what Cheryl was wearing at the PTA meeting? Yeah, uh, I thought it was fine. What? I can't drink anymore? You know what? Maybe it's for the best. Time to stop drinking and start giving something back. I'm gonna work with the homeless. Hey, which one of you bums got liquor? Oh my god! Joe's completely paralyzed! Let's eat sushi off him! That was a weird first thing to say, what? Hey, Cleveland, how's the job search going? Not bad, but it's tough out there. Well, do you even open those links I send you? Peter, all you ever send me are links to old men pleasuring each other. Okay, good. So at least you're out there looking. That's right. I'm gonna keep everyone on this street safe, like Captain America. Captain America, can I see your shield for a second? Sure, here you go. <laughs> He's just a guy. We now return to Will They Eat a Deviled Egg? <laughs> he cracked! <laughs> the made, made him do it. it. Excellent. This show's so stupid. <laughs> the yolk's on. Hey, guys. Hey, Peter. Hey, you know how drinking's the most important thing in any of our lives, but we never say that out loud? Seems like we should talk about that over a drink. Yeah, well, anyway, we thought that since it's such a nice day, we were going to get some beers and drink outside. You want to come? Yeah, that sounds good. Let me just check with my secretary and see if I'm free. Uh, looks like you're free till, uh, four, Mr. Griffin. Everybody drunk! Jeez, how many penis-suppressing straps can one guy own? Hmm, Donna might enjoy trying to sneak her bottom into these jeans one cheek at a time. She can't dress wet, she gotta be dry. Bye, Glenn. See you around. Who is that? That's the box I was going through last night. <laughs> all right. Oh, Glenn, it's like your foghorn leghorn and all the women are chickens for your plucking, and they all say, Oh, man! Quagmire, we have to know how winter summer ends. Yeah, this show is our whole life now. We like those guys who hang around comic book shops all day, even though they don't work there. So, uh, you need help with a delivery? Nope. Need to put any vintage comics in plastic sleeves? I think we're good. All right, well, I'll just stand in the back and play with myself over my jeans. That was really great, Jake. Really, really great. Your face is upside down, so we're not going to pick you, but thanks for coming. Come on, just change the ad. I'm upside down for peanut butter. That's one right there. Peanut butter turns that frown upside down. That's two. I could keep going. Peanut butter is... You got two good ones. Damn it. This has been a worse trip than my visit to the Museum of Flight. And this is the Fightin' Lil. She's a B-17, and she flew the most bombing sorties in the European theater. Huh, interesting. And, and where is Snoopy's doghouse? That was stolen by a fat guy in a ski mask. Oh, so still no leads? 
Do you say you can't get man stick? Here. This is ground powder from a rhino horn. Take two of these and watch bring it on. Wow, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, d I don't know your name. I'm just gonna make a noise. Tell me if I'm close. <coughs> no, that is my brother. My name is Caitlin. Well, thank you, Caitlin. When I get home, I'll transfer enough money so you can rebuild your town. You've all been very kind. Now, everyone hop in place and pump your fists in the air as we walk slowly to our vehicle. Peter Griffin, freedom for Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin, let my Peter go. <sighs> all right, I'll take you. I guess I can deal with it. After all, I put up with Peter always thinking it's the rise of the machines. We don't have long. That's awesome! Oh man, I haven't been this excited since we went to that Mexican water park. Excuse me, sir. Have you had active diarrhea in the past eight days? No. Well, you're about to. Peter, you've got to change his mind. He's got to stop taking those pills. You're right. If we don't fix him soon, it'll be a bigger disaster Good than- Good morning, everybody. Oh, for God's sake, Meg, you ruined the setup. Yeah, how come you're not wearing your bell? Did you chew it off again? It keeps me awake. And I should be allowed to enter rooms unannounced. Not while I live and breathe, Meg. But yeah, we'll get Chris straightened out. Ah, here comes Meg. Brian, quick, let's go play tennis. That's awful, honey, but you just hang in there. I'm sure people will come around. I'm not so sure, Mom. Even online, I'd become a total outcast. Oh my god. No more Facebook friends? No more Twitter followers? No more Instagram followers? <gasps> he without Tumblr reblogs is nothing at all. A comment on our time. And scene. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great-grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. This gives me an idea. She's dead. Would an idiot have been able to rig this rig to that rig? Peter, that's nothing. Oh, is it? I died! I died! Joe, what are you doing up there? Enjoying heaven, Bonnie. Come join me. There's a gun in my nightstand. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <coughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. I forgot to make it look like an accident. You look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? You should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Hey, uh, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? You can count on me. The same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. For years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. 
Tina, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember. We've got to stick together, like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? I'm tired of living with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris? All right, that'll be ten cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't. The lemonade tricked me and got away. Lemons are God's children. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. Don't be afraid to be honest with a girl and show her who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with H. Yeah. Well, for the next 72 hours, I'm gonna be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Mittens. Oh, she's busy with the blood drive. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay, I've had enough. Hmm, maybe this one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No! Ah, fudge. Wait, I know! I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. At least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes. The moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. That's what all the star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get, even during school shootings. Kevlar vest. Kevlar vest. Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> then next year, you can have a vest. This is trespassing and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. There you go. That's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys. Fight. This is Kevin's first birthday since he came home from Iraq. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday, and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Uh, you're gonna start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. It's been three weeks, and you haven't had a single job lead. Now, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the death games. Oh, my God. This has been a 12-minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12-year-old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Want to come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. W where are you going to go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. <laughs> Look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan. Up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. They did not need much. Boy, what a great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. <laughs> I 
right, I got the guy. I got the guy. Oh, thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. You forgot to I say... I forgot to say clear. I love that piece you did on the invention of the guillotine. Oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, they couldn't finish. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. Yeah, that would be the ending to this day. For example, here's what happened when we fertilized an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. Here's Hilary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. Okay, I think that's enough. I got more funny ones. I got Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that one. Like people in massive debt? Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Ah! Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Ah, uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus! But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now! Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. What about all those people outside? They'll see that I deleted it, and it'll all blow over. Trust me. I hope so, but you never know. They're still pretty mad at me down at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. We now return to the Awkward Stepdad Show. Man, your mom's a real groaner. Do you hear that in your room? Hey, Dad, where are you going? Well, Meg, now that I'm a metal detector guy, I gotta start eating breakfast at On the Sand Cafes, where I will judge tourists as my skin browns and hardens. Stop throwing your kids' diapers in the trash with all the soda cans! Please, don't. Why won't you... Die! <laughs> shh. Shh. That's right. I'm your dad. Your gentle suburban dad. Oh, what a twist. Shh. Hey, dad. Sure must be tough having a son with goofy noodle legs like mine. Chris, I love you no matter how useless you are on a paddle boat. Sir? Sir, can you hear me? There he is. Welcome back, buddy. Who are you? I'm a paramedic. Name's Stryker Fox. Oh, Lois just texted. Burgers or meatballs for dinner? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch. Just different shapes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Okay, Natalia, level with me. Why are you really here? I have been sent to neutralize liberal Jewish dissident Fievel Mouskowitz. Oh, well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya! Uh, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! You know, even though you and Peter have your differences, I'm glad it hasn't affected our friendship. Us redheads have to stay together, right? <laughs> <laughs>
So this is stuck at work. Honey, please. Lois is a friend. Really? Nicole, you got the wrong idea. How does this bitch know my name? Bitch? Okay, ho. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Come on now, ladies. Awesome. A chick chick and chick fight. We now return to Captain America Civil Union. All right, Captain America, we have to get ready for the big fight with the other heroes. Who do we have on our side? Well, Hawkeye, we've got you, Scarlet Witch, the Falcon, and, of course, Randy. Who's Randy? You know Randy, lives in my guest house. We've been friends since college. He's my pal. He's the guy I went to Paris with. You are such a coward. Randy! According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface. My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. And I don't know if you considered this, but the clock is ticking on Stewie's cuteness. Huh. Well, I guess you're right. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up looking like an exact mashup of Lois and Peter. <laughs> Groceries. Peter, you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. How was it? Terrible. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid, ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me. Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. That's nice, Brian, but you're from different worlds. She's in India. That's a lot to overcome. People in love can overcome anything. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, look at Jeb Bush and his wife. Honey, do you think I'll ever be president? No, no, no. Stewie! What? It's just a joke! Yeah, but come on! Look it up, man! Google it! I know what she looks like. I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood. Understood. Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell. To the boiler room of hell. All the way down. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Ah, hell, we're going to be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Let's vote! All right, you guys, I will now do anything for $10. Who's got something for me? I got one. I'll give you 10 bucks if you wear the same pair of underwear for a month. Pay up. Uh, actually, you owe me 20. Ew. Here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. It does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. 
Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Where the hell's Quagmire going? The airport's that way. He doesn't know we're following him, Joe. You don't have to duck down. I'm not. You took a pretty hard right turn back there. I've been like this for a while. What's he doing? This is one of them places where women go to see male strippers. Some bisexual men go as well. But you know, it's not just the Griffins who work hard to make Family Guy what it is. Here in the props department, some sweaty guy is working on the Peter Copter. That's right. You know, a lot of people don't realize SEAL Team 6 actually completed their mission in this puppy. Oh, cool! Family Guy! Over here! I'm down here! Stewie, I don't think this is gonna work. We're never gonna raise enough money to pay back Padma's father. Trust me, Brian, there are a billion people here and almost every one of them has a tapeworm. Yes, excuse me, I have a tapeworm. All right, very good. Lie down on your stomach, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, you're a lady. And you sound American. How long have you been in there? I originally just came for my junior year, but I fell in love with the place. 